Welcome to your weekly safety contact video. This is Carl Potter, carlpotter.com, and I'm with you this week for your contact video so that you can uh, be safer at work. Now, this week what we're going to talk about is, for your contact with your team, is this. Lockout and tag out. We're going to cover that. We're going to just talk a little bit about it just for a short few minutes here. And I've got my handy dandy OSHA Mancom book out and I'm ready to roll right here. Got it turned to 1910-147 which is the section on lockout tag out. And I'm going to read something to you. Now pay attention, close attention to this because lockout tag out was designed to prevent over 70 percent of industrial injuries. Think about it. Two people. Okay, so that's what it was designed for. And if you work with me here, we'll 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 understand a little bit more about it. So the lockout tagout. It says here that tagout. Just about tagout says the placement of a tagout device on an energy insulating device in accordance with an established procedure to indicate that the energy isolating device and the equipment being controlled may not be operated until the tagout device is removed. Wow! Now think about that for just a minute. If we put a tagout device, and I've got one here somewhere, ah, here it is, and on this tagout device right here, just like this one right here, handy dandy tagout device, you can take it, latch it, ow, you can latch it into You got all your information right here and nobody can take it off easily. In other words, it can't be easily removed. You have to be thinking about it if you're going to take it off. Then we got other stuff like this one right here that has this device where you can take it and loop it through and let people know if they can get it through. It's real easy to use unless you're from Oklahoma like me. But anyway, if you notice this, it says danger, do not operate. Another warning device that says do not operate this because somebody's working on it. Now, Think about this for just a minute. If you're working on something and somebody goes up and violates the lockout tagout procedure, aren't you going to be a little bit upset? You ought to be. And here's the thing. You should never violate it yourself because when you do that, then everybody becomes unsafe. With your team this week for the contact of the week, Let's look at our lockout tagout procedures, our hazardous energy control, and figure out if we're really holding our end up of the deal on our lockout tagout and hazardous energy control because it's that important. It's important for you to make sure that everybody's on, on target and on base with that procedure and with those devices and understands them. So let's just make that contact this week. Hope you guys will make it a safe week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week on next week's weekly safety contact video. Have a good one. Bye.